The film begins with a video from Maxine's childhood, where she is performing a dance for the church, and now she wants to become a big actress. That's why she has come to audition with the director today. Maxine's audition goes very well, because the director likes her acting, confidence, and attitude. After the audition, Maxine drives away and reaches her village. Here, her colleague invites her to a party in Hollywood, but Maxine declines and goes to shoot a scene. As soon as she returns from the scene, she receives a call from her manager, who gives her the good news that she has finally been cast in the film for which she had auditioned. She immediately shares the news with her friend, who owns a shop just below her apartment. Her friend is also excited to hear this news. Maxine couldn't stay there long as she had to go somewhere else. There was a mirror in front of her, behind which another person could see her, but Maxine couldn't see him. Watching Maxine dance, the man in leather clothes went mad with anger, as if he had no control, broke the mirror, and killed Maxine. Anyway, after dancing, Maxine comes out of the room and looks for another colleague who was inviting her to that party, for which her colleague had earlier invited her to the Hollywood Hills party. Well, now she leaves for home. It was late at night, but she was walking with such confidence as if she wasn't afraid. While walking in a dark alley, a man stops her. Maxine isn't scared. A police car also passed behind her, but Maxine didn't shout for help. Maxine had a gun. She pulled out the gun and held the man at gunpoint. Was he trying to scare Maxine? On the way, she told the man that when someone had tried to kill her like this before, she had crushed his head. After coming home, she watches a movie with her friend at night and falls asleep. In the middle of the night, the doorbell rings at her house. She went outside to see. When she came out, there was no one outside. Someone had left an envelope outside her door. As soon as she picked it up, the man ran away from there in the lift. Maxine took the envelope and went inside her house. Inside was a tape, and when she opened it, she saw her own film inside. It had many adult scenes. It seemed like someone was trying to blackmail her. Well, after this, we meet Maxine's two colleagues who had gone to the Hollywood Hills party, where they had also invited Maxine. All this was being done by the same man wearing leather clothes. The next morning, Maxine goes to the studio. The first film she got was a horror film for which she had to change many get-ups, and now she was preparing to make her face mask. For this work, a lot of wax was applied to her face, and now she had to keep her eyes and mouth shut for a long time. As soon as she closed her eyes, she felt as if there was a ghost behind her, as if the ghost was about to put his hands on her neck and kill her. She choked and died, but before that, she wiped off the wax from her mouth and breathed. After the scene cuts, we are shown a pool scene where two police detectives had come because two corpses had been found inside this pool. These bodies were none other than Maxine's colleagues, and after killing them, a strange symbol had been made on their bodies. Meanwhile, Maxine also loses her earring, and as soon as she sits in the car to go home, someone drops a card in her ear. There was a number written on it, and it said that it would be good if we talk. Reluctantly, Maxine took the number. On the other side, the person who was talking asked Maxine to meet, meet him at a hotel. He was a private detective who took money from people and spied for their purposes. In the evening, Maxine goes to meet this man, and he tells her that the man who was getting information about her now wants to meet her, and if she doesn't meet him, he will do something terrible to her. He will expose all the wrong things you have done, and this way, your future will be in danger. He gives her a newspaper cutting that had a murder report from Texas, and seeing this, Maxine was scared because she was involved in this murder. Well, when she came home, she saw that the police detectives were also at her house. Actually, they were investigating the murders of her colleagues. She didn't answer any of the police detectives' questions because she feared that some police might catch her for her last case. However, she had nothing to do with this case. Here, the blackmailer had also trapped Maxine badly. If she wanted, she could have complained to the police about him, but she didn't, because if she complained, she would get trapped herself. Well, now she picks up that tape from her house, which the blackmailer had left at her house. She took it to her friend and asked him to track this tape and see who recorded it. Meanwhile, she gets a call from her director, who was taking her to show the movie set. 
these people came from far outside the city to see the set. The location was very nice, but here, Maxine sees a girl from the window. Maxine knew that this girl wasn't actually here. She was just haunting her, scaring her because Maxine had killed this girl. Here, the director also tells Maxine that the producer doesn't want Maxine to work in his film because Maxine's background isn't good. But the director liked her acting and told Maxine to give her 100%. I'm with you. This film will be released in theaters and your fame will increase a lot. Maxine also nods because she didn't want to miss this chance. When she left for her home, she saw that the same detective who had asked her to meet someone was following her. She got angry. She got out of the car and tried to explain to the detective that leave me alone or you will get into trouble too. After that, she sits in her car and goes to her manager because now the situation was such that she wouldn't tell anyone. She tells her manager everything about how a man was blackmailing her, and he had also hired a detective to follow her. She doesn't want to meet that man, but at home she starts memorizing the script of her film. And that man, who wanted to take revenge on Maxine because of her behavior, kills her friend. He commits this murder so badly that everyone is scared. After the murder, he sits in the detective's car, and we learn that the detective was helping this man in every possible way. The next morning, as soon as Maxine stepped out of her flat, she was shocked to see such a crowd outside her flat. And when she learned that her friend had been murdered, she was in shock. Her body also had the same mark. The police take Maxine to the station because the three people who were murdered were in contact with Maxine and their faces had the same mark. If you don't tell us anything, the serial killer might kill you next time because these three were very close to you. Well, Maxine didn't tell the police anything, and she went back to her studio where her film was being recorded. Here she meets her co-actor, who gives Maxine a lot of confidence and assures her that she will perform well in this film. They couldn't discuss the film because another girl had to go to a party in Hollywood Hills. Yes. But before leaving, Maxine told her co-actor that it would be fine in your mind. Before she could finish her work and leave, the detective arrived here, who was lying with a blackmailer behind her. At this time, the detective also had a gun, which the detective took out. She went back to that house where the film was being shot. And while saying this, she really survived because the security caught the detective and her director. Seeing Maxine so scared, she realized that something was wrong with Maxine. She tells Maxine to take this weekend off, but end all the problems in your life because I couldn't tolerate any problems in my work. Maxine had kept her words in her mind, and now she had decided that she would end all these things. She goes to a party in Burhat where the detective was already present. Maxine knew that the detective would follow her here too, so she follows him into a garage, where Maxine's manager and another man were already waiting for him. As soon as she arrived here, she knocked the detective unconscious and took him to the junkyard and crushed the car with this man, destroying all the evidence of the detective's death, who had told her that she was going to a party in Hollywood Hills. At the same party, where her previous two friends had died, and now her co-actor might also be killed there. Maxine thinks that maybe she could save that girl's life. Thinking this, she goes to Hollywood Hills and sees that the police detectives were also following her. When she reached the party location, she saw that there was no party going on here. Before leaving, she hears some noise. She goes inside and sees that a video of her childhood was playing. The same video we saw at the beginning of the film. Maxine now enters this room. This is the same house where her friends were killed earlier. It could also have been a trap for her. This is the same person whose face we couldn't see throughout the film. The one who is wearing black leather clothes. For the first time, his face was shown. He was none other than Maxine's father. Seeing her father, Maxine's soul trembled. This man had been searching for Maxine for many years. After much effort, Maxine herself came to him. Why did he commit so many murders? There was a reason behind it. He believed that horror movies were corrupting people's minds, leading them towards sin. To stop these sins and expose Hollywood, he committed all those murders and marked their faces. Maxine had come here, here to save her co-actress, but little did she know that she had already died before Maxine arrived. During this time, 
her foot hit a suitcase that had fallen down the stairs and it opened. Inside was the severed head of her co-actress. Before Maxine could comprehend what was happening, her father knocked her unconscious and took her to a special place. Her father believed that Maxine had disappeared and could be brought back. These people were going to perform an exorcism to erase the sins she had committed, so they tied her to a tree. Here, her father had many followers and everything was being recorded. Before Maxine's father could place the same mark on her face that he had placed on others, detectives who were following him arrived. While they shot at Maxine's father, they failed in their intentions and chaos ensued. Several people were killed by the bullets fired by the detectives, but Maxine's father escaped. The detectives also ran after him and caught him near the Hollywood Hills sign. By the time they reached there, both detectives were badly injured and Maxine's father was also injured and collapsed from exhaustion. Maxine had also come here to kill her father. Before Maxine could kill her father, a police helicopter arrived. Seeing this, many thoughts crossed Maxine's mind. If she killed her father right there, she would become a hero for everyone because her father was a serial killer. By doing this, her fame would increase even more because she killed her father to save people. Everyone would start seeing her as a hero and her movie would be a hit even before its release. Then, her interview would be on big channels. To achieve all this, she just had to kill her father and without wasting any time, she did it. She crushed her father's head and killed him. The scene cuts and after a while, we see the scene where Maxine's film shooting has ended. Maxine has also arrived at the premiere of her movie and according to her, she had already become famous even before the release of her movie. She was still being interviewed and thousands of people were there to listen to her. With her growing fame, this story ends here with this final scene.